Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Here's another video in my series of car boot sale finds. This one is the second part of uh, my weekend's buy-in. Um, I bought that much stock. I didn't want to ram it all into one video and not do um, a decent enough description and video. Didn't want it rushed. So this is the second part and I'm going to show you some beautiful little pieces uh, today. Not to mention this beautiful crystal fruit bowl. So we got everything from crystal, we got jewellery, we got coins, we got Victorian copper, we got art deco brass, we got it all. Um, this is a really nice little mix, it's been a beautiful uh, weekend, really got done well on the buy-in front. Um, I'm very happy with what I've bought. Um, it's a lot of money's worth on the table that have cost me very little money. So I'll uh, I'll give you a little uh, closer look. I hope you find the video interesting, guys. It's some lovely pieces. Hope you really enjoy seeing them. Okay, guys. What I'm going to do? I'm going to start off on a job lot of coins I purchased. Um, now, end of the day, mind. I walked around ten to twelve in the afternoon. And there was a box of coins on the table and the man was there, 50 pence each. Now I turned around to him and I said, how much for the box full? And I've had them all for 15 pounds. All these and these two here. Um, now what we have are a group. Are they going to focus? There you go. Wellington tokens uh, for Waterloo. Obviously you got George on the back and the Justice and Peace I think is it on the front. Anyway, these were commemorated in the 1816. Now every single coin is numbered. I don't know why it's bloody camera ain't capturing things. I don't know if you can see it here. Every coin, this number is 34, 30, uh, 3, 4, 3, 6, 4 of 37,500. Now 37,500 sounds a lot, but it isn't. Now when they're done worldwide, and I'm not 100% when they were minted, um, they're all in really good condition. Now I'm going to get between 5 and £10 a coin. It's going to take me a long time to sell them. Granted, um, but when the first one goes, the rest can sit there for as long as they want, they're free. There's 40 coins here. Um, obviously, there's the Wellington coin. Then you got some 2014 half crowns, but they're done to commemorate the First World War 1914 to 1918. Camera's really playing up today. Obviously you've got the British flag and soldier and everything. They are, as I've said, for the uh, for commemorate the First World War. Let's see if I can get it like this. Bear with me guys. There. The coin's in really good condition. All these in the job lot. Then we got some francs, five francs. I haven't priced these yet. I doubt they're going to pull as much as the uh, Waterloo coins for Wellington or the half crowns. However, even if they're a five or a coin, it doesn't matter. For these to be, you know, 15 quid, it's neither here nor there. Um, these two then are seven pound. So in total for everything is twenty two pound. So it's fifteen pound on the other ones, and then you got these two, these large Alexandra tokens. And as you can see, the detail they're crisp. The nineteen oh seven, the king and queen, Queen Alexandra. 
Yeah, 13th of June 1907. Really nice tokens. I've had £20 each for these in the past. Um, so I'm more than happy with those. And as I say, there's two of those, both in good condition. The one has more patina than the other. So the camera is struggling to pick it up. The coins are going to pull me in some good money over a period of time. Then I'm going to come down to some jewellery anyway guys since I'm on it. Here we have a beautiful sterling silver dress ring. Uh, cubic zirconia around the outside. don't know what the uh, centre stone is. Haven't done no research yet. It's fully stamped up silver. Beautiful dress ring. We have some run-of-the-mill silver then. You know, your run-of-the-mill bangles, you find them at every car boot sale. Bit of scrap silver that I dug out of a box, just a single. Um, we have a couple of necklaces and bracelets then, all of which I don't think the silver come in for seven, fifty, fifteen, about eighteen pound for all of it. And the ring is going to be twenty-five pound, and more than cover everything. Oh, and of course, the Z's. These are all in on the price. All these, 50p for all of them. They're all sterling silver, all set with cubic zirconia. And they sold me 50p for the four pair. Really happy with those. I'll just move the silver aside. Here we have a piece that cost me a bit more money. Um, I paid a tenner for this yesterday off a dealer down in Cardiff in Bessemer Road. Now I love it. It's pure art deco. Look at that stylized dog. It's 1920s brass. It's a little pin dish. Now I've had this stuff before. Genuine period art deco is hard to come by. Not so much now with eBay. Um, for anybody who sells that for a few pounds, got something wrong with them. I'll I'll comfortably put 35 on there and wait for an offer. Really, really nice quality, thick, heavy brass, beautiful stylized dog, good condition. Best part about it, it hasn't been cleaned. Don't clean your metal way unless you have to. Next then I'm going to come over to two Spanish porcelain figurines. Now these are Neo by Ladro, they're not Ladro. Ladro is... For for the best way of putting it, Ladro would be for the qualified uh, experts, and the Neo would be for the apprentices. Um, or at least that's the way I've always believed it. Because Neo has always been the cheaper version of the two. Um, we have the two figures. The quality doesn't change between the two. It really doesn't. It's just purely on the name. They they both Neo and Ladro both superb quality. There's plenty of uh, Spanish porcelains, but the Neon Ladro is one of the better for pulling the money. They come in, they were a fiver each. Happy enough with that. Next we have a pair of Waterford Champagne Flutes. Now these, well, say these, one of them was on the stall uh, today. There they are. Beautiful. A single glass was on the stall today and I picked it up and he said, oh, it's a pound, there's only one there. And he, his girlfriend was there and he said to his girlfriend, didn't we have two of those? And she went off digging through the boxes and lo and behold, she found the second. There you go. John, John Rosher of Waterford. So the designer's John Rosher. They're produced by Waterford and they're beautiful. I had a quick look on eBay just out of curiosity. £75 a pair of these sold. That wasn't an asking price, that was a sold price. I bought that one for a pound. She dug that one out, they give it to me for the same price. I paid £2 for the pair. No box, but beautiful. £60, £70 for a pair of champagne flutes. That's a score. Not being funny. If you think there's something wrong with that, then ain't. <laughs> right, how do I describe this? It's massive. It's 10 kilos of crystal. 
Um, let's try and give you some idea. These ornaments are six inches tall. It looks like a little matchbox next to it. The piece looks bohemian to me, um, but could just as well be by Stuart or Royal Briley. It's not a signed example. It's very large, very heavy. It's got to be 10 kilos of crystal. How the hell somebody could blow that and cut it in this size and weight? You're talking somebody who uh, was certainly skilled and knew what they were doing. Now this came off the same stall as the Deep Sea Diver's Helmet in my last video. Um, if anybody knows who made it or the pattern, feel free to leave a comment. I would appreciate that. But I, I do think it's a bohemian piece. But I also think, what would it cost somebody new? Two, two and a half hundred pound? Easily. It hasn't got a crack, it hasn't got a single chip. It is perfect. What do I do with it? Do I sell it or do I keep it for myself? I don't want to lift it. It's too heavy. I don't want to drop it since I've only got one hand. I'm holding the camera with the other. Beautiful, beautiful bowl. I wish it was signed. If that was a piece of Watford, I'd be asking a thousand pounds for it, the size on that. So, yeah. very happy. Okay, so we come along then to very large kettle. I don't know if I said the uh, bowl was a tenner. Uh, off the same uh, lady I had, the um, deep sea diver's helmet. Right, so what we have here is a Victorian copper kettle. Now, you'll see copper and brass kettles all over the place. How do you date them? One way is in the way they're made. So if we turn this one over, and you look at the base, you see here dovetail joint in where it's been soldered together, brass soldered together. That is the way they made them in the Victorian times. So this is a 19th century copper and brass kettle. That's what you're looking for on the, uh, the kettles and the Victorian copper is in the construction. So we know we have a Victorian piece. It's large, it stands at about 10, 12 inches tall really good weight to it. It came in for four pounds this morning. It's tin lined so it can be used. It's in really really good condition. The odd tiny tiny dent. Nothing at all. Now the last one of these I sold was for 55 pound. Need I say any more guys? <laughs> Worst case scenario Kilo, uh, coppers four pound a kilo my money's back but you know that's stupidity but I, I even if it was smashed up I would have bought it at the four quid just from going in my scrap box but a really nice antique you put that in a pub it's gonna look a million dollars next we have a piece of art deco glass look at that Normally I would say these are by Bagley, or Davidson, or Sowerby. However, this one has all the information underneath. Registered, number 755635. So it's around 1920s, but it's stamped foreign. So, Czechoslovakia maybe, not certain. But the colour on it is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see it in the um, video. And she is the most beautiful, almost Grecian lady. Wrapping her arms around the column. Beautiful, beautiful piece. It has a small chip to the rim. I knew that by in it. But because of that chip, I had it for a pound. Seriously, a pound. It's for nothing. As I explained to you in my last video then, I bought a couple of modern watches because they were, at the end of the day, saying everything a pound. Here we have some pieces that I'm putting back out on my stall. 
um, you have an onyx base with a solid brass abacus. Perfect, there's a nice little uh, paperweight for somebody. Then we have bronze, sorry, we have a bronze belt buckle. Uh, the country and western guys use these all the time and they're quite expensive to buy. And then just a little key ring. Why did I have that? They done me a deal, I paid £2 for the three. That'll go in my uh, pound boxes just to have different in there. I gotta keep them stocked up. This is gonna go out on the store for between five and ten pounds just as a decorative piece for someone to use as a paperweight. And again, five to ten pounds for the belt buckle. But it just goes to show you have to stick when you stick around at the end of the day and everyone shouting everything 50p or everything a pound, you gotta go and see what bargains you can get. Because by the end of the day, general public don't want to take the stuff home. So it is really worth, when they start shouting everything 50p, you go and have a look. And there we have it guys, that's the um, second part to the uh, video for today. Hope you uh, enjoyed looking at the uh, pieces. As I said, some beautiful uh, items this weekend, it's been a really good weekend to me. Um, over the moon. I really can't explain how happy I am. The stuff was that uh, good, I was over the moon, uh, I didn't bother go to another car boot sale, I thought that's enough. Don't need to spend any more money today, let's get this stuff listed and sold, um, and use that money then to buy next week. Happy days. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the pieces. Um, if anybody does know the uh, maker or the pattern to that fruit ball, I would appreciate the, the advice if you'd leave a comment. Um, if you enjoyed seeing the pieces, I would appreciate a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe, we're really racking the videos up now. You'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. We're on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. And we have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll say bye for now.